Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Jordy, the Young Adult Librarian at the Headquarters Branch. Thank you so much for joining me today for this Blackout Poetry Craft. You may be wondering, what is Blackout Poetry? According to one source, it's created by using pages of an existing text and then isolating singular words or short phrases and piecing them together to create lyrical masterpieces by using black marker to redact most of the words. The materials you would need for the Blackout Poetry Craft are, you can use an old magazine, an old newspaper, or an old book. And in addition, you would need a black Sharpie marker, as well as colorful Sharpie markers, a pencil, and a scrap piece of paper. Find a page with lots of words. Then skim your page to find a word, phrase, or general theme that you like and want to build your poem upon. You don't need to read carefully because the point is to grab an idea from the words and not take them in. And your next step is to go through and likely circle the words that you want to use for your poem. Take a blank piece of paper and write down all of the words that you circle in order that they are on your text. Now, once you've written down your words and phrases that appeal to you, now you want to go back and read over them and start crossing out the words that you don't want to use. If you need a few connecting words like a and the, it, etc., go back and look through your text and see if you can find those words in between the words that you circle. Normally, you're able to find them. For the words that you crossed out, go back through your text and erase the circles around them. Next, go back through your text and boldly box the words that you want to use with a pen or a black Sharpie marker. Next, you want to read through your final poem and sketch out any images or symbols that relate to your poem. Now, once you've made all your sketches, whether outside of your text or in your text, now you can go back and black out with a marker or a pen all of the words that are not, have not been placed in the box or that does not involve the sketches that you want to keep for so your poem. Once you're done shading all the parts where either you don't have a sketch or you don't have words, now it's time to take a sheet of paper and a pen or pencil and write out your poem. Thank you again for joining me and be sure to tag us in photos of your blackout poetry creations showing the text where you've blackened it out and if you choose to do sketches showing those as well in order to be entered for drawings for prizes from August 9th through September 9th. Thanks again. Bye-bye.